Hi, I'm Johnny and you're watching The Hefty Beast. And on today's episode, I'm going to be doing a review of this game right here, A Gentle Rain by Kevin Wilson and published by Mondo Games. I just want to say before we start that I was provided a review copy of this game. Anyway, let's just get it to the table and crack it open, shall we? Take a deep breath and relax. Sitting by the lake, as gentle rain begins to fall, you watch the beautiful flowers floating in the water. By matching the blossoms on your tile by colour as you place them, you inspire new blooms to appear. Whether playing by yourself or with friends, this meditative game provides a fun way to relax and help your mind focus on the beauty before you. Keep score or don't. Just relax and have fun. Okay, in order to set up the game, it's really simple. We just take this pile here and we put them in a pile, make sure they're randomised. And we take all these wooden blossom tokens and leave them in a supply nearby. Now we're pretty much ready to play. All we've got to do is flip this top one and we're ready to go. Okay, so the way turns work in A Gentle Rain is basically what we're going to be doing at the start of each turn is we're going to be drawing a tile off the top here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to match these colours with the colours on any of the tiles in the bottom. And basically once we make a square where one of these circles is complete, we get to uh, choose a blossom to go in it, but let's just get on with it. So I'm going to place this one by here. Okay, so I'm going to draw my next tile. And looking at what we've got here, which based on what's in front of me, I think actually what we're going to do is we're going to put this one on the end by here. Then we're going to reveal our next tile. Let's see where this one goes. Okay, and just for the sake of argument, I'm going to place this one connecting these two black flowers by here. Okay, so as well as actually laying them, we could choose to discard them if we didn't need them. Like, for example, I've got this blue here, which would match on the end. Um, but I need a blue-red over there, so I can't match it that way. So what I might as well do is, instead of actually playing this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard it. So that's the end of that turn, and now we draw another one. And for this one, we've got <laughs> more orange, and I think I'm actually going to put that down because we need orange. Let's move our discard pile out of the way. Okay, so moving on, we're going to draw another tile, and we still haven't matched anything yet, but this one might actually prove useful to us on the end by here. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, green and yellow, no, we got green and blue over there, we got yellow and white, yes we have. Okay, this is actually going to be our first blossom. And basically, like by here, once we've got all four of these, it means that we can choose any of our wooden counters, either a black one, an orange one, a white one, or a yellow one, to place in the middle of here. And that's basically what we're trying to do throughout the game. If we can score all eight of these blossoms, then we'll get a score of eight. Basically, by the time we run out of tiles, what we're trying to do is get all the blossoms out and have as many tiles left in this deck as possible. The more tiles we have in the deck, the higher our score. Anyway, so let's just choose what we're going to place here. I think, based on what else we've got on the board, I'm actually going to place this black blossom in the middle, by right here. And on to my next turn. And in this turn, we've got a blue and a white. We don't need that. We can't place it here, look, because they don't match. Um, blue and red don't work there. But I might place it by here where these oranges are. And we're just going to keep going, same as before. Let's see what we got here. We got orange, purple, and we've got a black and blue. I think we should line these up over here. So we're going to do that for now. Then we're going to see what the next one is. As you can see, it's quite relaxing. There's not much to it. We don't really have to think about much as we go. We just really got to be trying to complete this puzzle. And right now, I think the best place for this would be by here, as it leaves us open to be able to solve a yellow and a red and an orange and a white. And based on the tokens we have left, we have all three of those tokens. So let's continue. Okay, we're just going to keep drawing tiles. And we've got orange, purple. Let's have a look what we got. We haven't got orange, purple, orange, red. We got red, blue, red, yellow. Ooh, we have red, yellow. Okay, so we're going to place this one by here. And I think I'm actually going to put the yellow blossom into this one. So now we've got two points. Okay, we're doing well so far. And we're going to keep drawing. And we've got white and orange. Nope. We got purple. Nope. We haven't got this. So I'm just going to discard this one. And we're going to draw the next one. Um, I pretty much, you've pretty much got the idea at this point. Um, but I'm just going to keep playing for a few turns until I tell you what I think. And I think I'm just going to put this purple on the end here. And let's draw another couple of tiles. Here we got red and blue here. Not the way around we need it though. Um, 
Okay, so I'm just going to place this screen up here. And basically, turns will continue like that until you run out of the deck. And based on the amount of blossoms you have played, um, if you played all eight of them, you would end the game and then count up the amount of tiles you got left. Or basically, however many you play by the end of the game is going to be your score. So if I only managed to play these two by the end of the game, I would finish the game with a score of two. Anyway, I'm just going to get back to the table and I'm going to tell you what I think. Okay, so now we've come to the part of the video where it's time for me to tell you what I think. And the first category is going to be aesthetics. And in this category, I've decided to give it a 9 out of 10. This is mainly because I feel that the, the, the feel of these tiles is really good. I like the kind of like matte rubbery texture they got on the front. And on the back, they kind of bumpy to fit with a pattern. And, and it just feels nice when you're handling them. I also think these uh, printed wooden blossom pieces are actually very nice and high quality. And I, I honestly can't say there's anything wrong with the way the game looks. Once you finish the game, it really does look like a nice little lake and you've got loads of flowers out there. So for that reason, I've decided to give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, so that brings us on to gameplay. And for gameplay, I've decided to give it an 8 out of 10. There was nothing particularly wrong with it per se, but I just thought that there really isn't much depth. Although what is there is really elegantly executed. And I think that just that simplicity alone is enough to keep it engaging and you're not really having to bog yourself down with rules stuff it's just really a nice relaxing experience so the reason i've given it an eight is because i really feel that it does serve its purpose and although it's quite simple you know you're not looking for gloomhaven or anything here we have just got a simple 15 minute game um for what it is it really does it well so that's an eight out of ten for gameplay now this one is accessibility and it's going to be another anomaly in my scoring system because for accessibility it's actually got a 10. I just found that just how quick it was to get set up, just stick a pile out there, especially if you've shuffled it before you put it away. Just put it out there, stuck one off the top, chuck a couple tokens on the table and away you go. Um, the rules, it really just doesn't take long. This little leaflet really does guide you through it. It tells you how to get into nice comfortable clothing, get a cup of tea, you know, it really does help you through the game. And there was just no barrier. It's just that simple that for accessibility, it has to get a 10. Um, it's just it's just set up so fast, played so quick. Um, there never really is going to be a time where I'm not going to be able to play it. I, and for that reason, I've decided to keep it at my desk. So that's a 10 out of 10 for accessibility. Okay, so that gives a gentle rain a total score of 9 out of 10, which is an excellent score from me. I really feel it did blend its art and its gameplay together really well in a very elegant way. I also feel it really did serve its purpose exactly as intended. It was a relaxing game. It helped me zone in and just sort of put the rest of the world on hold and just spend 15 minutes looking at some pretty tiles. So for that reason, it's got a nine out of 10. Anyway, if you like the look of this or anything you see on the shelf behind me, please feel free to check out the link to Five Storm Games in my description. Also, if you've been enjoying what you're watching, please feel free to smash that subscribe button up there and check out another one of my videos up here. Anyway, I've been Johnny, you've been watching The Hexy Beast. Thank you for watching and most of all, stay hexy everyone.